only lady on a lineup? I'm like, equality, we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we got uh, out of town, was it here? Yeah, no one? Not a sink, not a one, one. Where are you from? New York. <laughs> you're from New York? <laughs> Republic. All right. How do you like our, uh, our subway system? It's cool. It's cool? Okay, I like it. I like that public transportation. I think it's cool that we were like, you know what? Let's put the most deranged people in the world in a metal tube underground. <laughs> Just see what happens. The great American experiment. <laughs> I, uh, I was late for something recently and I was, uh, I was on the subway platform and I saw a band playing and I was like, Man, they are really hit or miss, depending on what mood you're in, right? <laughs> like, when I'm in a good mood, I'm like, New York City, so unique, oh, live art. <laughs> and when I'm late, I'm in a bad mood, I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate music as a concept. <laughs> really, really hit or miss. <laughs> uh, where am I? brag, <laughs> um, <laughs> that I remember that there was a kid in my class who was like, oh man, you're so lucky that your parents are divorced, you get two Christmases. I was like, listen kid, my mom married a Jewish guy. I don't just get two Christmases, I get Hanukkah too. <laughs> your parents should totally get divorced, it's awesome. <laughs> kid goes home, he's like, mom, said that you should get a divorce. <laughs> Never let her talk to him again. Uh, <laughs> I did um, I did really like growing up with both, right? You know, both holidays, both perspectives, both balls, matzah, and meat. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Although um, my stepdad was the one that was Jewish and it was my mom that was the Catholic one. Culturally, I grew up with a Jewish mom. I did. In that um, if we got in an argument and then she had to leave the house, she'd be like, well, you better make up with me and tell me that you love me, or I don't know, I might get in a car accident. <laughs> That's a Jewish mother. <laughs> That's Jewish mom guilt. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, speaking of motherhood, anyone here the sole owner of an HBO or a Netflix account and people are leeching off of you? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, okay. We got one woo. Backbone of society. The rest of y'all are freeloaders. With they all owe you a drink after this, okay? <laughs> Riddle me this. My sister, who makes six figures, okay? And her husband, who makes a different six figures. Do the math. They're on my Apple TV. <laughs> Look at where I am right now. Okay, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> They'll text me, they're like, hey, I forgot the password. I'm like, oh yeah, it's your bank routing number. <laughs> Could you send that my way? I need to make a withdrawal. <laughs> Uh, both my sisters have babies. Pressure's on from the fam to crank out a kid. I don't know if anyone can relate. Um, but when my family asks me when I'm gonna start having kids, I'm from Long Island, I go full Marissa Tomei. I'm like, what's a theo? You writing a book? You know when the kid comes out, okay? Jesus Christ, get a life. <laughs> I do find that actually my friends with kids are worse. Anyone got friends with kids pressuring them to have kids? Not a one. All right, <laughs> I got a yes over here. <laughs> it's crazy. They're like, no, you need to have a baby at the same time. We have a baby, so our babies can be babies at the same time. I'm like, sounds like my kid's always gonna be younger and hotter. <laughs> Not really a problem for me. <laughs> I do like to tease them a little bit though. You know, one of them will be like, yeah, so I'm pregnant. I'm like, well, I guess we're both eating for two. And then I see their face drop a little bit and I'm like, there's a demon inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> they love that one and I love it. I mean, they hate it. <laughs> love that, love that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm way too busy to have a kid, you know? I'm so busy right now. I'm raising my husband and it's a full-time job. Also, I know, jump scare, have a husband. You're like, she is Gen Z passing. <laughs> and you'd be right. <laughs> oh man, but I am raising my husband. I mean, 
God, why, it, why is it so hard to get straight dudes to take care of themselves on the most marginal level? Yeah, I'm looking at you guys right here. I'm looking at you guys. Like, right now my thing is just sunscreen. I just want him to wear sunscreen and he won't do it. Can you imagine being so toxically masculine you think you're stronger than the sun? The sun's got hands. But he won't do it. He won't do it. He's being such a toddler about it, too. He's like, oh, it's a textual thing. I don't like it when there's sticky stuff on my face. I'm like, honey, none of us like sticky stuff on our face. But we make sacrifices for the ones that we love. You guys that laughed, sickos. Disgusting. <laughs> uh, I, do, I do feel myself getting desperate, though, and I'm like, if he's going to be a toddler, like, I don't know, we got to do one of those star sticker charts with rewards. If you start wearing sunscreen, I'll let you put it in my butt. You use over SPF 30, I'll eat your ass. This is how you guys find out I'm not into butt stuff. So disappointing. <laughs> okay, okay. I know this generation is so obsessed with eating ass. I know I'm the odd one out. I think I'd feel a lot more comfortable if there was like a restaurant rating system down there. I just, I need to see a little card with an A on it before I enter that bodega. Okay? <laughs> That's all I'm asking for. I think I'm, I think it's fair. <laughs> I gotta be real with you though. Like neither of us are really that responsible. If you are unmarried, please, you gotta find yourself one person that's got their shit together in the couple. You do. Um, my husband is a personal trainer, and I am pursuing stand up comedy, so. <laughs> kind of fumbled the bag. <laughs> no one's got a real job. <laughs> uh, someone recently was like, How's married life going? You know, we've been married for a year. I was like, I gotta be honest with you, it feels like if Scooby Doo and Shaggy got married to each other. <laughs> I'm like, So, wait, Scoop, we gotta do our taxes. <laughs> He's like, Ruh -ruh Ruggie. <laughs> and then we both get high and eat a bunch of snacks, and neither of us do our taxes. <laughs> we wrote <rocked> up. <laughs> you gotta have a, a Velma, you know? You, you gotta find your Velma. <laughs> I do. I feel like I've realized recently that like my girlfriends and my gay friends are my real soulmates, right? And my husband, God love him, he's just some guy. <laughs> he, and, and I don't feel bad. I mean, do you think I'm his soulmate? Have you ever hung out with a straight dude and his best guy friends? You are the third wheel. <laughs> they are in love. They are. <laughs> One of them will be like, hey man, do you wanna come over, watch Sports Center for like five hours, scroll on our phones and not talk to each other? <laughs> the other one's like, Oh my god, dude. It's like exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> we think the same. <laughs> and then they do that, and if they ever do talk, it's always inside jokes about some guy you've never heard of. <laughs> always a, co a college friend, he's always got some bullshit nickname like Chippy. <laughs> you've all got a Chippy, I know you've got a Chippy. <laughs> They're like, Chippy was the man, dude. <laughs> of uh, changing my last name. Sorry, feminism. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't really like mine. Uh, I use the stage name Britt Miggs, but my real name is Brittany Aminarelli, which sounds like a stripper brand pasta. <laughs> it's just so long and Italian. Uh, I'm from a big Long Island Italian family. Everyone's named after a saint, including me. Our Lord and Savior, Britney Spears. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, but seriously, my, my dad's name is Anthony, and his brother, my uncle's name is Michael, and my dad decided to name my two little brothers, Anthony Michael and Michael Anthony. <laughs> because Mario and Luigi was already taken by Nintendo. <laughs> Spaghetti and meatball would have been too on the nose. I, I understand. <laughs> it, to me, it sounds like a lazy screenwriter was writing a mob movie was like, eh, Anthony Michael, Michael Anthony, we'll fix it before we start filming. Bye. 